apps that you should consider using when you are traveling. Uh, let's start with Booking.com, the, I think the most famous booking site. I don't really use it anymore because I prefer to stay in hostels, but I like to, to, to read the reviews and like compare prices between Hostel World and Booking.com and look for the pictures of the, of the buildings. There is definitely more pictures on Booking.com. Next is couch surfing. I use that to meet to just meet people in the cities that I I was visiting, but uh, I no longer use that. It's too much too much time and work to message people and ask them to stare at their homes. And when I travel for weekends, I don't have time for that. Uh, hostel World. That's my favorite app. You can book uh, here hostels, private rooms in hostels. You can message people that are visiting the same hostel and city as you. You can see who and how many people are visiting your hostel. You can see the people and messaging them. I think it's a brilliant idea. Hostels are the best place when you can meet people when you're traveling solo. Next, finance apps. Apple Wallet. I like that I can add my boarding pass to, to my Apple Wallet and it's easy to use it at our, at airports. Uh, it's scary how easy it is to pay, especially when you want to save money. I use Revolt card all the time when I'm traveling. Makes paying with a different currency is very easy and, and you're saving money. Currency converter. This one works for me and it's, it's useful in Europe where uh, there, there are so many countries that have different currencies. Too good to go. A great app uh, to save money on food. Uh, restaurants and stores are, are selling foods that they didn't sell that day very cheaply, but, uh, but you don't know what you will get. Next group of apps navigation of course google maps you can download them uh, but without the internet uh, it works really bad you can't really use the the whacking option i use them to to look for our reviews of places google maps are great with, with like the showing public transport in town the same with like app the city mapper app that helps you get from one place to another by, by showing you different options like a public transport or bicycles they have a lot of European cities, but not all of them. Works great, like explaining you how to get to, to your destination. Maps me, I don't uh, use it often because in Europe I don't have problems with the internet. So I use Google Maps, but when you don't have internet, I think Maps me is a much better option. Mappy. That CZ app that I use to find trails around Europe. They are if you like to hike like me, you have to check this app. It's great for see the trails around mountains. You look for a hiking spots. Great app. Next is a transportation train line app where you can buy train and bus tickets between the cities. Omio similar app to train line but sometimes they have different carriers to choose from sometimes app doesn't want to sell me last minute tickets so i'm choosing different app both of them they work basically the same they make buying tickets very easy flixbus uh, this app you can buy tickets mostly bus tickets and travel between the cities in europe some tickets are very very cheap rome to rio Rio. If you don't know how to get somewhere, you can check that in this app. Might recommend you transport options that you didn't didn't know even existed. Great for planning your trips. Blah blah car. You can book a carpool ride, share your destination, choose choose a day and pick a carpool that suits you. Some rides can be booked instantly, while other rides require approval from the drivers. I use this app a lot when I was traveling around my country in summer. You can find cheap rides and find interesting people. You can read reviews of drivers, so it's not that bad, but sometimes people can just cancel just before a ride starts. Next apps, plane apps, Skyscanner, the, my, my, my favorite flight searching app. If you want to travel cheap, the, the option, they want to fly everywhere works great when you want to find ch cheap flights. I used Kiwi sometimes, but now I just, my first choice is Skyscanner, Ryanair.com. And I'm booking straight from like the Ryanair app. It's, it's like a simple, easy, just one click and you can buy your tickets immediately. 
other apps like Weezer, EasyJet, Air Europa work very similar to Ryanair. Yeah, so if you want to travel, fly around Europe, you should definitely have an account in those apps. Uh, other apps, my favorite weather app, it's Meteo Blue. Never de really disappoints. Meteo Blue, that's my weather app of choice. WhatsApp, I'm using WhatsApp to, to message with like hostel owners or other travelers most like used app messaging app in Europe I think due to contact with hotels or like other travelers notes to make notes like, about interesting stories that happened to me or like things that you should read or learn from other people Google Translate just to translate like nothing much to explain you should have this app reminders uh, I like to use it to remind me to for example check in for a flight and the final education YouTube music I started to learn Spanish so Duolingo yeah it's my 33 day streak I really like Duolingo it's actually not that bad app people really complain about Duolingo but I actually like it helps with like building the habit of learning every day and of course YouTube my favorite site I don't really watch Netflix anymore maybe like Emily in Paris was a TV show that I liked but YouTube it's my favorite app to consume content and that's my YouTube channel you can check that out <laughs> subscribe and all of that no you don't have to I'm, I'm learning their videos every single day so in the future hope I'm gonna do better videos so thanks for watching and see you tomorrow